It was a sequel to Clerks. Kevin Smith's great indie, super low budget indie movie. And now he's made a sequel to it with a bigger budget and all that stuff. Clerks 2 takes place 10 years after the first Clerks. And they're still in the same place. They're at the quick stop, and then the quick stop burns down. I work at movies, which is basically just a McDonald's-like fast food joint, you know. And so that's what they are now. There's two guys, Dante and Randall, and they're the two main characters. Dante is this guy who just, life is so hard on him. He complains about everything, and he constantly makes mistakes in both his personal life and his professional life. And he's just a mess. Randall is someone who's confident in where he is and what he's doing, even though he's a complete loser. And he always has, like, the craziest thoughts. He says the most insane things, and I'm not even gonna mention them right now, because they're just too weird and creepy. But anyway, anyway, Dante is engaged to be married, and he's gonna move to Florida, where his fiance's dad is gonna give him a job pay for their house and all this other stuff and it's like oh my god everything Dante ever wanted his life to be it's now completely fully realized but their manager is played by good old Rosario Dawson and she's really cool and he's kind of in love with her and he did a little thingy with her they had sex on the prep table of the restaurant that's what they did while he was engaged to this other lady I get pretty clear that this other lady really just wants Dante so that she can control him and whereas Rosario Dawson's character is just cool. I think this movie does really well. Same thing with the first Clerks. It's always this thing where, even though it's all this silly comedy happening, there's always some mature theme going on. And through all the juvenile humor about drugs and sex and poop and all this stuff, they're still able to find this these complex characters. We get more Jay and Silent Bob, you know it. And they're back, and they're rehabilitated and they're Christian but they're still selling drugs so the thing this movie does really well at the end is fan service there's just tons of this is what you love this is what you love about the first in some movies I'd find it off-putting but in this movie I feel like they did it to an amount where it really got to me I was like that's beautiful man but they did one scene where they go a little bit far because there's a bunch of people outside the restaurant dancing to the Jackson 5's ABC and it's just it's a little bit much but you know Rosario Dawson is dancing and she's smiling at Dante and Dante's like this is awesome and then you as an audience member are also like this is awesome I could watch this all day the movie's able to be a dumb stoner comedy while still maintaining a complex story with interesting characters and a lot of really big it's a movie that has this questioning whether these characters are right or wrong. And it's just, it's really smarter than it should be. That's Clerk. You know the first movie, you will love this movie 100%. I'm a fan of the first movie, so you all know how I feel. This 2 gets an A+. You can find Clerks on Netflix, and you can find Clerks 2 on YouTube. So, there you go.